But these specimen, these individuals are immense, big. There are some, some of them. How's it going? Good, we're seeing sponges. We're in the sponges. I heard the good part, uh, that's good. Roger. Course looks good. You're going right up the line. You're uh, 100 meters from me. Roger. Big fellows. Wow, that's one sponge. Like a big wine barrel, one meter in diameter. Now the sub is turning to the right a little bit, and there is a huge Farea Oka here. I took a picture of it right to the side of the sub with large tubes, but three to centimeters in diameter and up to well, wow, well, yeah, that's incredible that's incredible large large condylasma open open like a uh, covered with sediment here a huge colony of colinasma uh, faroea oka excuse me faroea oka yeah these here in the back you see a large the last one, but two meters fifty large and one meter right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not oriented in the current here too well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, take. I'm at the current uh -huh. lap to get. Into the current, okay. Push us over there. Yeah, there are other outcrops anyway. Huh? Oops. Mm -hmm. We might go get one here if you want to get yeah. one. Okay. You just turn to the left and then yeah. we'll see one. Large as they are here, up to one meter fifty, and Faria Oka here right now covers an area about well more than hmm, hard to say, but more than. 20, 30, even more square square meters. Must be much more than that. Mostly here. When the last mile, you're right hitting in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are covered with that spider web things, which I think I think they are dead. Beautiful. That's all. That's Avrocalistus here, Condylasma. Uh, not too many Faria Oka. 
Yeah, and there's... Oh, that's the sponge now right here, uh, which I don't know, this barrel-like sponge with this... Uh, on the top of your camera. Pardon? Oh. Yeah, on the top of there. It yeah, it's 44. Yeah, that should be on your left. Uh-huh. Okay. You see right here a dead Afrocalistus, completely covered with this spider or bryo, uh, bryo fitten like um, brownish mass. Too close. Do this, like I say, if I put a bunch of air in to get us over this pump, we're going to be out of air before we get to the end of the guys. Yeah. We've got to work my way over these things gradually. Here, a sea star and a spider. Oops, that's large, a large colony again of Faria Oka. About, covers here about more than. Oh, 10 square meters covers all the whole boulder here to the right. And in between there are Afrocalistus and Conelasma beautiful. Yeah, that's Conelasma, no doubt about that. And in the background, can you turn to the right? There's a big barrel, you see? That big lowly barrel on oh, the right. Yeah. I just want to take a picture of that because... Yeah, another one, right? Yeah, I can come back around here. Uh -huh. Because I don't... That's a big Afrocalistus now here. Sitting right on top of a... Farea Oka, this barrel here. Yeah, it's a lot of real nice Oh, ones. these are... I think they are quite happy, yeah, aren't they? You want to circle around this big to round this, one on yeah, the yeah, that to right? If it is possible. The sponges, the big barrels of sponges. No. Sorry, the oka. With grabs. This is what I was looking for. We found it. This is fantastic. <laughs> yes, we're going through the sponge thicket. Right now, I see Feria Oka right beside a good example of maybe uh, Afrocalistes here. There's some netting projections, very, very abundant sponges. That's the whole seafloor here. Sponges everywhere. And uh, you can see half of the, some of the sponges are half covered with, with sediment, appear to be dead. Just a real fantastic landscape of sponges with relief of up to, I'd say, uh, two meters here. With all manner of sponges, uh, low diversity, but very, very abundant population of, looks like some uh, conelasma. Maybe this here is, one I just took a picture of, I think, is Afrocalistes, and mitten shaped projections. And uh, just incredible thicknesses of sponges. A lot of uh, shrimp in the water, or small euphausids. And some decorator crabs, adhering to some conelasma sponges. And this is uh, amazing. And then we're just right beside an example of Feria Oka on the video. We're just covering that right now. And uh, crossing a good example of Afrocalistes with a mitten-shaped projections. And more Feria. A couple of small rockfish. Yeah, this is truly amazing. I can see in the distance for relief again of two meters on this long surface. It is amazing. I 
can see uh, more conolasma coming up here. <laughs> Sponges now with Oh, just a beautiful example of fairy oka coming up. Just perfect, the perfect sphere of tubes. Very fragile. Just an incredible three main types: fairy oka and uh, conolasma, and I think aphiclistes as well here because there's a lot of the projecting fingers. But the fairy oka are big, big balls or spheres that have hundreds of projecting tubes, and they cover probably half the length of the sub, some of the individuals have spread out that far. And everywhere you look, there's just pristine. Now we're crossing an area with maybe more, more dead sponges. And lots of, uh, lots of living ones as well. There is a kind of a raptocalyptus I fit in. They're real big. Let me see digital cameras, it's still on. Big. <laughs> Absolutely big. Now into some sponges. 